Hello, this is Annalisa from Face Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another scrapbook.com exclusive cut file, and this one is called Be Happy. As you can see, there are many hexagon shapes that can actually be made into a card, this B, and several other words that go along with the B theme. So I'll be using two cut files from this set. I will be using the B and then the High Honey Hexagon. Now I ended up using my Silhouette Cameo 3 to cut these out and I like so many of these different cut files but the bee and this high honey really stood out to me so I went ahead and used a foam tape to pop this hexagon up I wanted to emphasize the words and make them stand out a little bit and make them just jump off the page I had this idea in my head and I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out, but I'm happy with the results, so stay tuned and see what this card looks like when it is all finished. Alright, so once the foam tape was all in place, I was ready to place that on my card, and then I also put a piece of foam tape onto the little circle to finish off the O in this high honey hexagon shape and then for the back piece of the honeybee I did not have any black cardstock in my collection that I could find so I ended up using my spectrum nor marker in the true black and I just did a quick color of that background to create the different colors in the bee and this is a great way to Maybe get a color of cardstock that you need, but you don't have, but you want to match your project. And this also saved me time from cutting it down more than once. So, quick tip and time saver. So once the B was all colored in black, I was ready to adhere the yellow part on top of the black cutout to finish the B and be ready to add this B to my card. So I just used some liquid glue that I had in my collection and made sure I didn't add too much glue but just a little bit. I didn't want it oozing out and wrecking what I just colored or having the black bleed onto the yellow or anything but thankfully that didn't happen just little bits of glue and then once that was in place I really like how this turned out how it looks the two different layers. Alright, so once that was in place, I put it off to the side for a little bit. So once the bee was assembled, I put it off to the side for a second and grabbed these two stamp sets from Honeybee Stamps. These stamp sets are called Perfect Blend and Coffee Break. So I went ahead and grabbed the To Go mug from the Coffee Break stamp set. I'm just stamping it in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on some white cardstock. And then I used the Perfect Blend stamp set to stamp out the sentiment. So the sentiment I decided to go with was What's the Buzz? So It'll be, hi honey, what's the buzz? This is how a honeybee would ask for coffee, or what's going on? So once the sentiment was in place on my acrylic block here, or acrylic picture frame, which I use instead of acrylic blocks, and then I was ready to stamp that out in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink once again. And then I'm going to go ahead and color the to-go cup in 
Spectrum Non Markers, and this was a pretty quick coloring, so the colors that I used are on the pen cap, and they'll also be listed below in the description box. And they will link you directly to scrapbook.com, so anything I've used in today's video, if I can, I will link it below in the description box. And if you are interested in this cut file, that will also be linked down below in the description box. So check that out if you are interested. And the links down below are affiliate links, and that just helps me out on my channel. And it's at no extra cost to you, but you get great products and you're directed right to them, which is awesome. I had a lot of fun with this card, and I didn't realize that the stamp sets that I used were also bee-themed in the sense of the company is honeybee stamps. That is really funny. So they're just some stamps I had in my collection, and I was like, oh, that's a fun idea. Let's go with this. So once these... were colored. Once this cup was colored, I went ahead and cut it down off camera, and I also end up cutting the sentiment down off camera and creating a little banner. Before I do that, I also stamped the heart from the Coffee Break stamp set in the coffee sleeve there. And then just finish off the coloring. And then once all the coloring was done, I was ready to adhere everything to my card and figure out the last little bits of it. So I added some foam tape to this banner of the sentiment. And I put it down at first, but then I realized I need to fit my to-go coffee cup in there as well. So, I end up moving the banner because the, the coffee cup needs to go somewhere. So I added some foam tape to the coffee cup as well, and was just trying to figure out how I wanted it positioned. And I didn't want it to cut off any of the words from the high honey, so I ended up putting it a little bit on, this, on a slant. And then adding my banner slightly over top of it. And then I also added the B and used foam tape there as well. And then just to finish off the card and add a little bit more and bring in that yellow, I'm using English Mustard Nouveau Drops and just adding dots around the edges of this hexagon to, once again, bring in that yellow and just add a little bit more to the card. So once the English Mustard Nouveau Drops were all around the hexagon, I felt like this still needed more. I felt like the B needed eyes, and I was contemplating if I should use googly eyes. I have quite a few googly eyes left over from Halloween projects, but I wasn't really sure that that would work. Maybe I will try that in another project, but I decided to use the Oyster Gray Nouveau Drops, which you see here, and I just added two little dots on the B to give him eyes and add a little bit of interest on there. And then to finish off the coffee cup, I added Morning Dew Nouveau Drops to the coffee cup and I went with the red coffee cup theme so this is a holiday drink and this bee wants to know what's the buzz this holiday season so that's going to finish off my card thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I have more videos coming your way in the next couple weeks and I would love for you to join me and don't forget that the links to all the supplies used and to this cup file are down in the description box below. So if you are interested in any of these things, definitely check out those links because you won't be disappointed and they will take you right to scrapbook.com.
so yes, thank you so much for watching. bye for now!